So here we have Grand Rhapsody Piano from Waves. And in this video, we're gonna go over all of the controls, see how it works, and also, uh, of course, hear it, hear it a bit as well. So I'll go ahead and stop that. When you purchase this plugin, you'll of course get this plugin here, but you'll also have the option to download one or two of the libraries. And whenever you first open it up, you'll probably have to decide which library you uh, want to use. So right now we are using the HD library. You can click right up here and navigate to where that is. And we can switch that to the SD library, which of course is the standard definition library. So it's not sampled as deeply as our HD. And it will also be easier on your computer, easier on RAM, so on and so forth. But we want the HD library, but in here is where you can uh, uh, switch that up. Also, you can run Grand Rhapsody in standalone, so you won't need a DAW in order to uh, use this. We're using it as a plugin right now here, uh, in this case in Studio One. So let's go over the controls here. First up here at the top, you can collapse that piano interface, and we still have access to all of our controls. Of course, the interface is now smaller. Let's go ahead and expand that out. Up here is where you have all of the uh, factory presets. You can, of course, save your own presets here as well. Down here, we have our format, and the format is gonna change the character of, uh, of the notes, of the tone. So pull it down. The pitch is the same, we're just changing the character. Right? So about minus six is good to start. Then we have our velocity curve. If I pull this way down here, I'm gonna have to press my keyboard really hard to get a high velocity note, or I can have it in linear, or I can have it up here where now when I press very lightly on my keyboard, I get a much higher velocity. So that's good if your keyboard happens to be set up a certain way with a certain velocity curve, and it also of course affects your MIDI and your tracks as well. Pull it down, or pull it up. All right. Then we have the option to choose up to three microphones. Now we can only choose one type of microphone per slot. So I have the condenser 87 close right here, which means I can't put another one over here. So I would have to choose something else. Now, if I didn't have any microphone selected, you could do that if you wanted to, and it's still gonna make noise, right? If you have, say, your key up there in your pedal. So you could do that as an effect if you want, but let's load up our condenser 87 and maybe another microphone. We'll just grab a room and then maybe something in the mid there. And then we can adjust the level between these uh, different microphones here. Of course, solo, each mic, whatever you happen to like there. Mute the microphones. And then we have a phase switch right here to invert the phase. If something seems to be off or you just want sort of a more of a more of a phasey sound. So we can turn these on. And then we can adjust the delay of each microphone to give it maybe a sense of width or as an effect. If I pull this way up here, for example, pull both of these way up. Gives you sort of a sense of space. So just adjust that uh, to taste. We're just gonna add a little tiny bit there. All right. And then over here we have our key up noise and our pedal noise. So I'll pull up the key up noise. And you get that noise whenever you're lifting up on, uh, on your keys. Just dial that in to taste. Then we have our pedal noise here. So we have our two pedals up here that we can see. Soft pedal and sustain. You can of course use any uh, MIDI pedals uh, that you have for this. And of course it's going to respond to any pedal data that you have in your MIDI as well. So if you want that noise, just dial it in here. All right. 
then we have our sustain resonance. So whenever you are using your sustain pedal there, you can choose how much of that sympathetic resonance you're gonna get. Hold down the pedal. Make it go crazy if you want. All right, so just adjust that to taste. Then we have a compression here. So compression is going to control our dynamic range overall. Pull this up. Now it's gonna be a little bit more even. Pull it way up. Again, just dial that into taste. Then we have a basic EQ where we choose the gain and the frequency for our low and mid frequencies uh, here. Either cut or boost around whatever frequency you want to choose. So maybe around 220, boost that up or cut it out. I like it around 60 here and pull some of that in. Same thing for the mid, choose our range, boost it or cut it. Then we have a high gain. And then down here we have our reverb, which is already on, and we can choose our type in here. We can even choose something like a multi-effect BPM in there, which is gonna sound different. Maybe a chorus. So use your mix knob to dial in how much of that you want. And then you can choose between your early reflections or the tail, wherever you wanna focus on that. Come back here, pull up our mix. So our early reflections, which give it that sense of space or the tail here. And we have our pre-delay, which is going to let that dry signal come in first. So you're gonna get your attack, your transient, and then that will be affected by the reverb, depending on you know, where you set this. All right, so if I pull it way up here, you can get some pretty cool effects from this. So in general, I just want that attack to come through a little bit uh, before it hits the reverb, so that way it blooms out a little bit. Then we have our time, which is self-explanatory. How long do you want that to go? Turn it down so it's not as uh, large there. Then we have our damp, so we can choose how long those, those high reflections uh, continue on or if we uh, damp them down. Pull it down. And then we have a high shelf for that uh, high end of the uh, reverb. Turn it down. Sounds a little more natural if we pull out some of that high end. Then we have a volume control, which is self-explanatory and a limit button. So if I turn that off, and this is not gonna sound good. I'm gonna jack this up, I'm gonna jack this up, jack this up, jack this up, and we're gonna clip. So it sounds awful. Turn limit on. You can see we clipped over here too. But with limit on, we're still gonna clip here in the plugin, as you can see, but it's not gonna let that level get over uh, uh, full range, all right? So I like to have it on, but uh, you can decide what you want to do for that. I can alt click these buttons to set them to their defaults, or these knobs to set them to their defaults. And that is all of our controls here in Grand Rhapsody. So we'll hear a couple more phrases. Change the format. Just our mix there. 
pedal noise or key noise, compression. Maybe try a preset here. Grab uh, another one here in concert. Let those samples load up. It might take a while if you're using the uh, HD library. All right, play that. Change my format a bit. Don't want that noise. More compressed. More of that low end in there. Make it sound much larger. So this is a really good sounding piano. If you want to pick it up, head over to waves.com. There will be a 10% off all waves plugins link in the description below as well. And if you're buying studio gear, head over to the Benoni studio, Amazon page as well. So this is grand Rhapsody from waves.